This is a hot pie media original. Well, I was wrong. Really, really wrong. You know, it's something that I, I don't know about you. I didn't see this. I didn't see this. I didn't see Orenthal making it back. I had a short list and that list is now down to zero. Predicted some time ago that the two least marketable people of um, popular culture were Mike Tyson and O.J. Simpson. No, they're not going to make it back. There's no commercial appeal. That, 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 come on, everybody. No way. I get everybody gets a second and third act. I get that we like uh, villains. But, you know, rape and murder, that, that one you're not going to look away. Convicted. Well, sorry, for one of them. Allegedly for the other. So then Mike Tyson, of course, he uh, is in a movie, as a cameo appearance. Yes, he was hilarious. Next thing you know, he's got a one-act play. Next thing you know, he's got a podcast. Next thing you know that he's boxing again. Scratch that one off the list. Wrong. Okay, okay, okay. But there's OJ. You can't hack off people's heads in the most high-profile car chase of all time, most high-profile trial of all time. No way. There's just no way the juice makes it back. Ah, and there's, there's a line that we're, we're just not going to cross that line. I mean, cutting off their heads. Look, OJ got convicted of that, uh, you know, having his goons beat up somebody over trading cards. He got convicted because you've got to believe that judge, whoever the next judge was, it didn't matter if OJ Simpson, the juice, Orenthal, was ticketed for jaywalking. Whoever he was going to, whatever courtroom he was going to be in, that judge was not going to miss the chance to say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it right. I'm going to make up for that trial. I don't care what he does. He's going to jail, and the juice went away. I think we all saw it for what it was. It was a makeup. It was a mulligan. And everybody cheered it on. I felt like I was in a pretty good place saying, there's no way. No way. He's never marketable again. That cannot happen. Huh. Uh-oh. What's next? I'm going to, he's not that far away. I mean, he's awfully close. He's within hundreds of feet of the sideline. He's within a few hundred feet of the middle of the field, which means he's a few hundred feet away from the coin toss. That's, that's the progression of where we are now. Not only was I wrong about Orenthal the Juice, look, I was wrong. I'm not a company person. I stay to myself. I keep my head down. I do my thing and I leave. But I tell you what, I said I have no say in what this company does. But when Hot Pie Media pl- gave him a platform and gave him a show, I said, I don't think that's a good idea. Nobody cared. Oof. Wow. This, <laughs> I just, I just, he's marketable. My gosh. He's got, he is not that far away from selling you some stuff. He's not that far away from being at the coin toss of an NFL game. You know why he's not that far away? Because O.J. Simpson, the juice Orenthal, the guy that cut off people's heads, the guy that I think most of us said is the, one of the most hated people in America, the one that I said is never, ever, ever going to be marketable again, is celebrated at a Buffalo Bills game. The fact that that guy, he has, now just so you know, to set this up, that's how wrong I am. And I'm afraid this is the opening of the floodgates. I think this is, or I'll ask the audience, is this the rebirth? Oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Is this the successful rebranding of OJ Simpson to the mainstream? I, the documentary introduced an entire generation to OJ's life, career, and murders. Okay? So it's not, we're not in a place now where everybody doesn't know OJ. Oh, that people forgot about it. They didn't know about that. No, 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 no. Everybody knows. We're not talking about a mystery here. We're not talking about some obscure figure. We're talking about one of the most hated people of the last 50 years. Right? 
I mean, I'm, I don't think it's that far off. Are we now talking about, no, no. We are now talking about his way back. The NFL <clears throat> had to know. No doubt the Buffalo Bills knew because, you know, they're coming to Austin. So I should be cheering this on because it's not going to be long before OJ's right here in town with the Bills. My team. My team went from Buffalo to Austin, to Round, Round Rock or wherever, Selma or New Braunfels or Seguin, right? one of those places. I mean, this is a, kind of our team, isn't it? The Bills gave him a credential. He is wearing the credential around his neck. He didn't just show up and sneak in and some rich friend got OJ in a box at, an, at a Bills game. No, 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 no. OJ just doesn't wander into your stadium and say, you got a seat? He's wearing the thing that is obviously signed off on by the Buffalo Bills, which means it's obviously signed off on by the NFL. I didn't see that one coming. Mm -mm. I'm thinking the coin toss is next. I'm thinking the coin toss is next. So there he is doing his thing that we all love so much. The juice is on sight. Is it not? I mean, he's going to be on that sideline before long. He's going to be there. He's, it's coming. I'm that wrong. I'm that wrong. He's going to be selling ED or hair tonic, and he's going to be on a sideline soon because he is feet away, and the crowd is loving that the juice is there. John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce, now in all 50 states and several retail outlets as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to let this social media rock star chef uh, walk us through four different sauces, and then I'll taste, and we'll tell everyone why they should buy. You can give the science behind yeah. these, and then I'll make the uh, the simple recommendation. Go to atxhotsauce.com. All right, so let's go. I don't so think anybody's go. heard the website yeah, I know, before I know. by you, Jeff. <laughs> I've never that, heard yeah, that. It is atxhotsauce.com. I'll say 345 right. times, atxhotsauce.com. So let's do it. Uh, I brought four flavors here, and we're going to test your palate today. Okay. And I only brought four because I didn't think you could handle five yeah. or six. Yes, Probably a smart move. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the first one we're going to try here, it's called Beet Heat. And just like the name implies, beet. It, beet, it has beets in it. It's made with red Fresno peppers. Red Fresnos are uh, red peppers that are uh, they're hotter than a jalapeno and a little bit less than a serrano. So not super hot here, uh, just a lot of good, really good flavor. So we're going to start All with right. this one, and then we're going to move up the chain. Okay. I've had the beet heat, but okay. Yeah, we're going to try it, though. We're it, goes try it, well, it goes well with a cab. All right, Jeff's savoring beet I'll heat. I'll even do it with you, so that should be all right. Now, remember, it is hot sauce. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's hot sauce. Trust me, man. Wait, it's that hot sauce. Is that one hot to you? Um, No, no, no. A little. Yeah. The, the, well, the great thing with the fermentation process is you get a bunch of the flavor right up front. Yeah. And then the heat comes, but then it dissipates pretty quickly, especially with the red Fresnos. You know, this is not a very spicy uh, one, but it is um, a very tasty one. goes on great on sandwiches. Beet heat. Beet heat. B-E-E-T. Heat. All right, go to atxhotsauce.com. That's right. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly. <laughs> At one of my favorite places, uh, we call it Rich Stadium back then. Hard to believe that it was like 48 years ago that we opened this stadium. It was my fifth year in the league. Um, and it was a year that I gained 2,000 yards in 14 games. And as a team, we went over 3,000 yards, which was an NFL record in I got to add, it was only in 14 games back then. Well, they're playing the Miami Dolphins, my Bills. And when I was in Buffalo, my rookie year, we beat the Dolphins. Never beat them again. Eight more years, playing them twice a year, we never won. But guess what? My Bills going to kick their butts Oh, today, gosh, look out. Um, back then, the first year in this stadium, I had three rookies on offense. Joe Ferguson, the quarterback. Joe DeLama Lure, now a Hall of Famer. He killed him. He was playing guard. And Paul Seymour was on the offensive line. Stabbed him, too. And I went for 2,000 yards, and uh, the team went for, as I said, over 3,000 yards. And we had a winning record for the first time in my years in Buffalo. Um, we won nine games, but we didn't quite make the playoffs. Now they're talking about building a new stadium. 
that tells me I'm getting really old. But today, I'm here to watch my Buffalo Bills kick some butt. I'm just saying. Take care and good luck with your fantasy today. Well, there's that body. You don't see it on there. But if you look closely, he killed somebody two seats over. Some dude in a jersey. Dead. Wow. Um, first of all, he was that great of a player. I mean, I just, I'm going to take the bait here. He played in, in the snow. A guy from Southern California played in the snow, rushed for more than 2,000 yards in 14 games. O.J. Simpson, as a player, I'm not talking about the murderer now, as a player is one of those few people you could take from his time, stick him to today, and he'd still be great. So O.J. has a right as a player to brag. There is no denying. I mean, he took – that is a – was a zero franchise in the snow. He's running for 2,000 yards in 14 games. So he, when he's bragging about himself, it's not a stretch. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about that the crowd loved it. Everyone's taking a picture. Juice is smiling. Juice has got his Bills gear on. Juice has got the NFL sanctioned name tag right there around his neck. And oh my gosh, he's back. It's it's like he's he's broken through that ceiling. And I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I, I really thought somebody in the office would say, What is this? Is this a joke? So he's joking. O.J. Simpson wants to come to our game and sit in a box this weekend. Uh, how about hell no? I, I thought that'd be the answer. Somebody from the Bills, um, because the NFL is pretty good at micromanaging, somebody from the Bills get, sends a note over the NFL, look, ownership wants me to do it. The crowd wants him. What do you think? NFL office, hell no. Hell no. We got rid of that Kaepernick guy when the murderer is not coming around. No, they said, yep, check. Juice, we'd love to have him back. The fans are going to love it. And they did. And there they are. Pictures. Love you, Juice. Peace. Hey, I'll kill you too. Ha <laughs> ha. Who do you want me to murder? Wow. <laughs> I just... Is there anybody now on this list? Uh, I, I, I'm out of list now. I'm nope, nope. I'm wrong. Scratch them both off. Tyson back, Juice back. Accepted by, you know, that's the thing about the NFL. What's shocking about the NFL? So the NFL is so masterful at marketing itself. It has been masterful through the years at marketing, not just to meathead gamblers and frat guys and all that stuff, masterful at marketing to women. That whole NFLshop.com has been nothing short of brilliant. They've had it run by a former executive from MTV, who she is an expert in marketing to women. You know, they've done everything just right. Every problem that ever comes up, the NFL writes a check and you go away. Every controversy that comes up, they make sure it goes away. And then here is a murderer. <laughs> is arm in arm. He's not just saying, you know, on Twitter, sitting at a golf course, drinking beers, saying, I love you, Bills. He's there and it is photo op day. It is. Party favor OJ on site. I mean, that is just a step away from selling tires. Right? I know it may start late night ED drugs. It may start late night real estate deals. It may start late night. But this is the crack in the door open. The women are there. The women are taking pictures with them. Everyone is smiling. The Juice's teeth are perfect. The Juice looks like he's wearing some kind of championship ring of which he doesn't really have. He's got the Bills gear on. And it's not just a bunch of old frat guys arm in arm with him. It is soccer moms. Everyone take a picture with the Juice. I mean, it is selfie time. He's mainstream again. I can't, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I get, hey, Twitter world from the golf course. There is no way you thought you would get a, hey, Twitter world, and he is arm in arm with smiling fans who are loving him. Loving him. 
There's not one story, not not one video, not one thing of anyone flipping him off, anyone booing him, anyone making cut my head off OJ jokes. There's not one. There are thousands of selfies and thousands of pictures of yay juice and everyone pointing at him. I don't know how you feel. I know this. I was wrong. I was wrong. If he's there now, what's to stop having him back over and over again? And that's a good team. They're not going away. They're pretty high profile. They're pretty high profile. They're not going away. They're not nondescript. They're not losing. They're going pretty far. This is the first step of me being really, really wrong. Congratulations, America. You've just... You haven't just embraced the killer, it's a group hug. From the Hot Pie Media Studios in Austin, Texas, it's the Jeff Ward Show. Listen at jeffwardshow.com.